Hi, Rap Scene of Linden Associates with your morning flash update for this Wednesday, July 1st. Hard to believe I'm saying that. You do realize September is not far away now. Wow. All right. In any case, July 1st, 2020, and we're at about 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Well, the stock market following through. Now, if you look early in the morning, the market was down. What caused the change? I can give you one word. Actually, three letters. ADP, major revision in their numbers for last month. When that report came out, I just watched the market take off. I watched the metal markets drop on the number. The dollar fell back, which was interesting, giving a bid into a number of the currencies, and we'll be watching that. Now, while you're getting a drop in some of the base metals, copper staying up, and as I call it, Dr. Copper really tells you the state of how economies are doing, and it's not bad. We're looking at a fairly sizable break in the nat gas today. Had a big rally the past few days, but now it's starting to give it up. Failed, by the way, at the 18-day moving average of closes, and that's what I call that line in the sand. Grain markets getting a continuation bid as the market liked what it saw, I think, in the reduction in acreage yesterday, and we talked about that at the uh, at parts of the day and the afternoon in my in my. Uh, reports as I had written them and I said, wow, that, that's a bigger surprise than the market thought. So what happened today? Well, let's go to it. The mortgage markets, every one of the indices down, down 1.8% in the index, the purchase index, 1.3, refi down. Remember, rates have just been stable here. They haven't spurred anything new on. Challenger job cuts, 170, 219. Prior month was 397. So that's about, what? In rough terms, 30%, 35. ADP, now, 2639, that's the payroll's job. They expected uh, 25. So it's an increase, but not as big as they were looking for. But this is the killer. They say that now in May, the payrolls, instead of slumping 2.76 million, were actually up 3.065 million. Somebody there should be fired. They got a Obviously, uh, a minus sign on the initial number they came out wrong. Then they looked at the numbers and revised them up. Something like that had to happen. You don't get a miss of that type of number. You do realize you're surging about 5 million difference when you go from a negative to that positive, almost 6 million. That's quite a bit of number. Come on. The market final U.S. manufacturing PMI came in at 49.8. The prelim was 49.6. Market expected 49.7. So right there. ISM, here's the numbers, by the way, on the manufacturing, and it's important to look at. The composite index, 52.6. The manufacturing, a beat. The new orders index, a big beat. And employment, a nice beat. Construction spending, I don't like this. Down 2.1%, and April is revised even worse. We're going to get today a very important number at 1 o'clock, and that's the FOMC minutes. Now, it's not a number, but the number within the minutes is going to be important. What number do you think they're going to focus on? It's not really a number, it's a phrase. How far along is the Fed looking at, are they serious about capping what? The yield curve, the different parts of what rates can do. That is what I'm looking to see. Now, I doubt they'll let the cat out of the bag, but the market's going to focus on it to see if they can glean anything out of it. I have my I, doubts on it. I think the Fed is very coy about what they do, and I think they'll stay that way. You can see gold now making a new low on the day, silver pushing the same thing. We'll see if the markets get gobbled up on this break. I think a lot of traders have been looking at it. I had a feeling today was going to be a top. If you, like me, watch early in the morning, I was watching, uh, I think it was uh, Bloomberg early on. They were so focused on gold, I couldn't believe it. They had one analyst on on top of another on talking about it. When you get a lot of news about it, and they're all saying buy the market, you can almost count the market's going to go the other way, and that's what I think this is right now, knocking a group out, and then another group probably steps in for it. Now, it is the 4th of July. I've decided to allow for the 4th another sale on my charting course. It's only going to go to July 5th, so you act now over four days. Normally, my course runs $179.95. I teach in a certain way. Let me explain what it is. I teach the five basics of what I teach with. It's going to be the swing lines, the Bollinger Bands, the moving averages, the slow stochastic studies. We're going to tie other parts right into that, and here they are for you. Uh, 
you get with them. You don't see window envelopes in what I do. They're a really important part. I saw Kramer the other day talking about it, window envelopes. They're important. A lot of traders don't explain them. I go through them and I use them every single day. Now this is what you get. There's 54 videos in it. It's about six hours of videos. You see what I do and you get the charting data to work with that. Then you do the same thing. So what does this do? Well, the idea there is that we allow you to sit and see what I'm doing, then join me in my morning meetings and I reinforce what you're doing. This Thursday, I'm having my head IT person into my office. We're going to practice Zoom meetings and then I'm going to start the webinars in July to go with this. So you get a complete package, you learn what it is. Instead of $179.95, it's $99.95. You need no coupon. Just go to our website, www. Under Ira Epstein, well, it's iraepstein.com under education. Just go up there, you'll see it. I promise you, July 5th, I'm taking this price off. So if you're looking for something, you've got it. You can start the course when you want, just let us know. We'll then turn on the charting software, the course for you, and away that you go so you can work with it. You can also give it away as a gift. Just let us know the person that you want, their email address, things of that nature. We'll be happy to give it to them. Happy 4th of July. One more day, as you know, and then the markets uh, start closing early tomorrow. The electronic markets take off. The stock market is closed on Friday. I'm I. Rapstein. You have a great morning, great afternoon, and I'll see you with the market wrap-up at the end of the day. Take care now.